Hello, I'm Colin Demarest with C4ISRNet. I'm here at Sea Airspace on the show floor in Maryland. Behind me is the Sail Drone booth, as well as a Talus towed array. The two companies today announced they'd be working together on autonomous anti-submarine warfare. This is an Explorer USV. They'll be using a Surveyor USV, which is much bigger at 65 feet and 15 tons. We were here for the announcement on the show floor, and we caught up with some executives to learn more. Uh, what you're looking at here in front of you is uh, Talus's uh, Blue Sentry Thinline Towed Array. So uh, uh, what, what we're going to do with the Sail Drone team is we're going to connect this uh, towed, towed array to the, the Sail Drone, uh, and, and we'll be doing a trial later this year. The technology uh, is really based on the heritage that Talus has designing and manufacturing towed arrays for submarines and frigates for the last 40 years. And through the innovation that the team in Australia has been able to do, uh, we've been able to reduce the form factor of those towed arrays, those large towed arrays, to what you see today here. And, and this mock-up uh, has, uh, has an acoustic module on it which is about 30 metres long. And, uh, and, a, and a tow cable which is about 100 to 150 metres long. So that's towed behind the sail drone uh, and that's really the ears of the, of the capability, uh, listening to detect um, other vehicles in the, in the area such as uh, uh, fishing boats, uh, warships, uh, submarines, um, anything in the, in the area uh, will be detected by the towed array. Uh, there's a lot of new innovation uh, that we have in the, in the array including uh, the use of uh, fiber optics which is transmitting all of the data uh, back to the onboard processing uh, on the on the boat and then that's transmitted encrypted and then transmitted back to shore for the sonar operators to uh, to process back on shore so what does integrating a towed array here onto an unmanned surface vessel like the one behind us bring to the anti-submarine warfare ecosystem what what what, ma what makes the difference what makes the difference it's uh Really, it's, it's quite a game changer, and I don't use that phrase lightly because when you think about um, the, how much ocean uh, the navies uh, of, our, of the world need to, need to uh, survey, it's immense, it's immense uh, expanses of water. Combining um, a sonar array like this with um, multiple autonomous uh, surface vehicles like the sail drone allows those crewed platforms, those uh, crewed uh, frigates to expand their capability and reach um, out and um, and by having the having the sail drones work together as a collaborative team uh, just gives an incredible uh, capability um, out into the expanse. The other thing is is they're persistent. They can go out on station for days, weeks, months uh, without any uh, human intervention. So that's a, that's a, a force multiplier uh, that the Navy will be able to get from a capability like this.